everybody, welcome back to Bonapapa. Today is a special episode because I'm here with my friend Lainey from Simply Bakings Hi. and she's in my kitchen. <laughs> and we're going to prepare together two beautiful, healthy watermelon cakes. It's fresh. It's easy, it's allergy free, and all ages can eat it, right? Yes, mm. uh, they're perfect for birthday parties, for parties, mm. or just to enjoy and have fun with your kids with the decoration. Let's start together. First thing to do, we're going to take our nice and sweet big watermelon, and we're going with a very sharp knife to cut out the ends. Then we are going to cut our watermelon in half on the horizontal side so that we're going to obtain two thick slices, more or less of three inches height. We're going to take the bigger slice and we're going to slice off the skin on the sides. We're going to nicely trim all the white pulp out. The base layer of our cake is ready. We are placing our watermelon base on our cake stand. The second layer of our cake will be melon. We're going to cut out the ends like we did for the watermelon and we're going to remove the skin. Trim the sides and try to keep a regular circular shape. If you need, cut the melon so that you're going to obtain a three inch height thick slice like we did with the watermelon. With a spoon, remove the seeds inside, then place the melon on top of the watermelon so that now we will have a two layer cake. Last layer, watermelon again. We're going to take the remaining half of the watermelon and we're going to cut out the skin in order to obtain a smaller circle, always three inches height. Place the small circle on top of our cake. In order to stabilize the cake, insert two or three skewers through the cake in order to keep all the layers together. And remember to remove the skewers and the toothpicks when you're going to serve the cake to your guests, of course. And voila! Basically, you will have a three layers fruit cake. Now the fun parts begin, the decoration. And we're going to use all the scraps from the melon and the watermelon for the decoration because we are not going to waste anything. I decided that the birthday party will be an animal zoo team birthday party. So I bought some animal cookie cutters and I'm going to use them for the decoration. I will cut the melon in very thin slices, only half an inch thick. And with the giraffe cookie cutter, I'm going to create tiny orange giraffes. I will slice the pineapple in very thin slices, half an inch, and I'm going to cut out beautiful yellow elephants. With the scraps from the watermelon, I'm going to cut out pink lions. Now it's time to decorate the cake. I will decorate the base of my cake with kiwi half moons. Using half of a toothpick, I will attach my animals to the cake. I will use the blueberry for a decoration in the center and I will place the strawberries on top and of course my first birthday party candle. And voila, our watermelon animal party cake is ready to be enjoyed. And if you want to check another fun, beautiful watermelon decoration, click this link, check her channel. She's an amazing baker. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We are going to see each other next week with another recipe from Buona Papa. And as always, Buona Papa a tutti. Ciao. Bye.